It won't be long before Microsoft reveals Windows 9. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Are you ready for a new Windows? Microsoft is working on updating the often criticized Windows 8 operating system, and sources say that we'll see the new and improved Windows 9 near the end of September. The Verge has a source pinning the big reveal on September 30th. Now, you may have heard this next version referred to by the codename Threshold. It's supposed to include features that make Windows easier to use on non-touchscreen devices. It should bring a new mini start menu, kill the charms bar, and even bring in Cortana. That's the voice command assistant that debuted on Windows phones. But even though this preview of Windows 9 will be revealed in a month, the final formal version won't likely be released until the spring of next year. The cell phone carriers keep coming up with new promotions and lower priced plans to win you over. Verizon now has a $60 a month plan for individuals and you get 2 gigs of data with that, which is a $30 price drop in what it used to be. Sprint also has a new $60 a month plan, but it's unlimited data. But there are some catches. You either have to use your existing phone or you have to pay the full price of a new phone in monthly installments. It's $20 less than what T-Mobile offers in its unlimited plan, but T-Mobile is counting it by offering unlimited plan upgrades and credit when you recruit your friends to switch to T-Mobile. And speaking of cell phones, if your phone can't keep a charge, maybe you'll want to wear your charger as a bracelet. The Q bracelet is a high fashion bangle that snaps apart to reveal charging ports for either an Apple Lightning connector or a micro USB. The battery inside holds enough juice to recharge an iPhone 5S up to 60%. It comes in several sizes and metallic designs. The company is taking pre-orders now for $80, and it's expected to ship out mid-December. But if you don't want to wait that long, there are other universal charger wristbands out there, like this $25 model you can find listed on ThinkGeek and Amazon. But some users complain of their wrist getting hot while they recharge it, and it doesn't quite hold a charge for everyone. Better wait to see if the Q bracelet solves that problem. If you want a new mobile game to get hooked on, this is the app you're looking for. Disney released Star Wars Commander, which mimics the popular game Clash of Clans, where players build up armies and towns to battle one another. But in the Star Wars twist, it'll have a storyline that takes place in the time of the original trilogy, where you fight with the Rebel Alliance or the Galactic Empire. It's available now on Apple's App Store. That's your tech news update, but you can always find more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carry.